So in this lesson, we're going to go over creating or initializing a repository. We start the lesson having already created our project folder, which is called Git Learning Journey. And what a Git repository really is, is just a folder inside your project folder, and it's called .git, so actually it's a hidden folder. And it tracks all the changes to the files in your project. So the command to initialize a repository is git init. So let's see this in action. We have to be inside the folder that we want to create a repository within, and that's the git learning journey folder. And we want to show all the hidden files. So I press command shift dot, there's no hidden files. And in the terminal, I can write ls a. And once again, no hidden files. We only have a dot which represents the current directory and a double dot that represents the parent directory. So let's go and type git in it. And here we can see that we have initialized an empty git repository. And on the left hand side, we can see that the dot git folder was created. So now if we go into the terminal and we type ls-a again, we can see the dot git folder is there. So we've created our git repository. Now I want to make a quick note about the git init command. If you pass the name of a directory to the git init command that doesn't yet exist, then the command does two things. First, it creates the directory, and then it also initializes a git repository within it. So let's see this in action. Let's first go and delete the project folder. And then we go into the terminal, we're in the home folder, and here we type git in it, git learning journey. And we can see that on the left hand side, the git learning journey project folder was created. We go inside and we press command shift dot again, and we can see the dot git folder is there. And if we go to the terminal and go into our project folder, and we type in ls-a, we can see the dot git folder is there as well. So now let's take a quick peek as to what's inside this dot git folder. So this is a bunch of stuff which at the moment may seem like gibberish, but in the next coming lessons, we're going to go over what some of these folders and files are for. So just a quickly overview. We created a git repository and we learned the git init command. So thanks for watching and see you at the next lesson.